Well, when I travel daily to Sesame, I'm really thrilled by the fact that we have made it so far. I think of the challenges that we have to face and tackle with. We finally now have in our region this wonderful machine. I mean, we are talking about one of the world's most complex machines. Uh, you can describe a synchrotron as a rather large light bulb. I mean, we produce light, which you cannot produce uh, by other means. And the aim is that uh, we accelerate electrons. The electrons are charged, and when a charged particle is accelerated, it begins to radiate. At this point, uh, they emit the full range of electromagnetic radiation from infrared uh, to x-rays. The radiation has very unique properties. And because of that we can study property of materials which you cannot study with a simple laboratory source. Anything from an isolated atom to a complex system like a human being. You are allowed to study whatever you want. You just have to design your research in a perfect way that suits uh, the, the experiment and that's it. Sesame started with a large group of countries involved. Many Arabs and Israelis sat together trying to think how they could learn about each other. Using science as a tool for understanding, learning about nature, learning about the material world, and trying to understand it better together. It was a 20 years course of action with many hurdles and ups and downs on the way, but we kept on pushing in order to bring Sesame to become a real center of excellence in science in the region. We can collaborate. People from all over this region can do this together. For now, we have the infrared beam line and the X-ray fluorescence beam line. We already had some results on life science, like breast cancer diagnosis. Uh, we're working on cultural heritage, archaeology, bioarchaeology. We are studying mummies. The first ever measurements that were done were on ancient individuals from this very region. We're exploring perhaps craft activity related metal uptake in bones and teeth. I'm from Palestine, from Najah National University in Nablus. I'm from Iran. I'm from Egypt. I'm from Turkey, from Ankara, Middle East Technical University. It's not that common in our region that people are breaking lots of rules, and the rules are different in our region. So you have the society rules, you have the gender rules, and uh, Sesame is an entity that is breaking all the rules, actually. For me as a, a woman, and for me as a young student, it allowed me to, to, to think. The best point of Sesame here in this region is that it can uh, gather people from all nations here in this region. It, this is a very good point of this facility. In a way, it will make us to compete with the other researchers in the world. So we will not just rely on the benchtop spectrometers, but we will have really valuable data, which could eventually be a publication, maybe in Nature or Science. Next steps at Sesame is to see this place full of researchers. I hope really that soon all this area here would be full with uh, pipes and vacuum pumps and uh, instruments. So I think we are heading to full operation. I wanted to grow to become an international scientific center and to do science and produce science here that is published in the most prestigious world-class journals. My real dream is that the science here will be of very high quality and that people will say, ah, oh, this was discovered at Cesar.